Hello everyone. This is my Blu-ray and 4K UHD haul for February 15th. And in this video, I have eight Blu-rays and six 4K UHDs to show you that I've gotten over the last few days. And I will go through this as quickly as I can because I know that there are time constraints. But anyway, this is what I have. Okay, first is Disney's The BFG, The Big Friendly Giant. And I got this from the Family Video website for $6.99. And this is based on the best-selling novel by Roald Dahl. It is directed by Steven Spielberg. And it stars Academy Award winner Mark Rylance as The BFG. And uh, this is Mark Rylance's second film with Steven Spielberg after Rylance previously won the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor in Bridge of Spies. And the BFG also stars Ruby Barnhill, Penelope Wilton, Jermaine Clement, Rebecca Hall, Rafe Spall, and Bill Hader. And this was a blind buy for me. If anyone has seen the BFG, let me know what you thought of it. But anyway, that's the BFG. Okay, next is Triple X, the 15th anniversary edition. And I got this at Best Buy for $9.99. I had price matched Amazon's price of $9.99 because Best Buy had this for $14.99. And uh, this is directed by Rob Cohen. And it stars Vin Diesel as, sent as uh, Xander Cage. And also starring in the film are Asia Argento, Martin Chokas, and Samuel L. Jackson. And uh, I haven't seen Triple X in a very, very long time. Um... So obviously I can't I'm I'm really looking forward to watching it again after all this time especially with the new special features on here. But anyway, that's Triple X, the 15th anniversary edition. Okay, next is Triple X State of the Union. This is the second film in the series. And I got this for 5.95 from Game Exchange, the uh, used game and movie store that I told you about on um, one of my last videos. The film is directed by Lee Tamahori, who directed Die Another Day. And the film stars Ice Cube as Darius Stone, the new Triple X agent. And uh, Samuel L. Jackson returns from the first film as well. And also starring in the film are Willem Dafoe, Scott Speedman, Peter Strauss, and Sonny Mabry. And I haven't seen Triple X State of the Union in a long time either. Granted, it wasn't better than the first film, but it was still it was still pretty fun to watch overall. So I'm really looking forward to seeing seeing Triple uh, X State of the Union again. Like I said, this was so hard to find, and I'm glad I finally have it. Okay, next. is Alice in Wonderland, the 2009 version. And I also got this from Game Exchange for $7.95. The film is directed by Tim Burton and stars Johnny Depp, Anne Hathaway, Helena Bonham Carter, Crispin Glover, <coughs> and Mia Wasikowska as Alice. And I remember reading this a while back and um, as a whole, um, I thought it was pretty good, to say the least. Granted, it's not one of Tim Burton's best films that he's done, but it's far from the worst. But uh, anyway, I'm looking forward to seeing how it still holds up after all this time. Anyway, that's Alice in Wonderland. Okay, next is Chain Reaction. And I got this from McKay Used Books, CDs, Movies, and More. And I got this for $3.95. The film is directed by Andrew Davis, who directed The Fugitive. It stars Keanu Reeves, Morgan Freeman, Rachel Weisz, Fred Ward, Kevin Dunn, and Brian Cox. And I haven't seen Chain Reaction in a very long time. In fact, it has been out 20 years as of last year. And it's hard to believe it's been that long. But I remember really liking this. I uh, I had this on VHS a very long time ago during the days of VHS. 
And uh, I remember liking it very much. Keanu Reeves and Morgan Freeman both gave really good performances. And this was the film that introduced me to the lovely Rachel Weisz. So I'm looking forward to seeing how Chain Reaction still holds up after all this time. <clears throat> okay, next is another Keanu Reeves film that I got. And that is Street Kings. And I got this for $4.95 at McKay the other day. The film is directed by David Ayer, who directed Suicide Squad and Sabotage. And it stars Keanu Reeves, Forrest Whitaker, Hugh Laurie, Chris Evans, Common, The Game, Jay Moore, John Corbett, Amore Nolasco, and Naomi Harris. And Street Kings is a really, really good film. Uh, great performances from everyone involved, especially... Keanu Reeves, Forrest Whitaker, and Hugh Laurie. Really, really good performances from the three. But anyway, that's Street Kings. Okay, next is The Monuments Men. And I got this for $3.95 at McKay. The film, the film is directed by George Clooney and it also stars Clooney along with Matt Damon, Bill Murray, John Goodman, Jean Dujardin, Bob Balaban, Hugh Bonneville, and Kate Blanchett. I did have this a long time ago. And I remember watching it and I remember not liking it very much. And uh, I sold it probably maybe a month after I had it. But um, I decided to give this another chance, especially after after hearing the soundtrack on YouTube. And I... You know, it's a pretty good soundtrack in my opinion. So I decided to give this film another chance. And to find this new and sealed for three ninety five, yeah, yeah, that that was that was worth it right there. But anyway, that's the Monuments Men. Okay. And the last Blu ray that I have is Three Days to Kill. And I got this for seven ninety five at McKay. The film is directed by McG and it stars Academy Award winner Kevin Costner, Amber Heard, Haley Steinfeld, and Connie Nielsen. And Three Days to Kill is a blind buy for me. So if anyone has seen Three Days to Kill, let me know what you thought of it. And I love Kevin Costner in any film he's in, so I'm looking forward to seeing him in this film. But anyway, that's Three Days to Kill. Okay, and next are the six 4K UHD movies that I have. First is Star Trek Beyond. And I got this for $12.95 at Game Exchange. So now I have all the Star Trek reboot films in 4K Ultra HD. As I said before, I don't have a 4K TV yet, but... When I do get a 4K TV, Star Trek Beyond in 4K will be the very first thing that I'll watch. But anyway, that's Star Trek Beyond in 4K. Okay, next is Ender's Game in 4K. And I got this the other day at Best Buy for $14.99. And I used to have the DVD version, I mean... The Blu-ray and DVD version of this, but no more now that I have the 4K edition. The film is based on the best-selling novel by Orson Scott Card. It is directed by Gavin Hood and stars Harrison Ford, Asa Butterfield, Haley Steinfeld, Viola Davis with Abigail Breslin and Ben Kingsley. And I'm really looking forward to watching Ender's Game in 4K when I do get a 4K TV. Okay, next is The Hunger Games Catching Fire. And I got this at McKay for $4.95, as you can see. And I really couldn't pass this up. Uh, yes, I do have all the Hunger Games movies in uh, steelbook form. But seeing this for $4.95, new and still in the shrink wrap, I couldn't pass, I couldn't pass up on this. So, um, yeah, so yeah, I'm looking forward to watching this in 4K real soon. 
But anyway, that's the Hunger Games Catching Fire 4K. Okay, next are two 4K UHDs that I got from Best Buy. The first is Battleship 4K. And this was $19.99 at Best Buy the other day. The film is directed by Peter Berg and stars Taylor Kitsch, Alexander Skarsgård, Rihanna, Brooklyn Decker, and Liam Neeson. And I originally had the Blu-ray, the, uh, the regular Blu-ray release of this. However, I wanted the 4K edition so I could have it in time for when I do get my 4K TV. And um, this movie is really, really good. Granted, it did not get a whole lot of good reviews in the theaters, but I still... But I still really enjoyed it. I mean, the action is just spectacular. And the special effects are amazing. But anyway, that's Battleship. Okay, and uh, next is Everest in 4K. And I got also got this for $19.99 at Best Buy. The film is directed by Baltasar Komakua. It is based on the true story of the 1996 Everest disaster. And it stars Jason Clark, Josh Brolin, John Hawks, Robin Wright, Emily Watson, Michael Kelly, Sam Worthington, Kira Knightley, Martin Henderson, and Jake Gyllenhaal. And I originally had the, uh, the Blu-ray release of this as well. However, I upgraded to the 4K UHD because like Battleship, you know, I wanted to have this in time for when I do get my 4K TV. But anyway, that's Everest in 4K. Okay, and last but not least is Resident Evil Afterlife in 4K. And I got this for $3.95 at McKay the other day. All new and still in the shrink wrap. This is the fourth film in the series, and this is the only Resident Evil film that's available on 4K as of right now. And uh, the film is directed by Paul W.S. Anderson and stars Mila Jovovich, Ali Larder, Kim Coates, Sean Roberts, Boris Kojo, and Wentworth Miller. And I actually have the uh, Resident Evil Afterlife Steelbook that I got from Walmart a few years ago. But I could not pass up the 4K edition for $3.95, especially since it's, you know, still in the shrink wrap and everything. And I won't open this until I get a 4K TV. So, the, so until, so, you know, if I want to watch Resident Evil Afterlife, you know, obviously I'll, I'll uh, watch it from the, from the steel book that I have for the time being. But anyway, that's Resident Evil Afterlife 4K edition. Okay, so to recap what I got, I got the BFG, Triple X, 15th Anniversary Edition, Triple X, State of the Union, Alice in Wonderland, Chain Reaction, Street Kings, The Monuments Men, Three Days to Kill, Star Trek Beyond 4K, Ender's Game 4K, The Hunger Games Catching Fire 4K, Battleship 4K, Everest 4K, and Resident Evil Afterlife 4K. And uh, I'm sorry if I sound a little different on this video. I haven't been feeling too good over the last day or so. I've been coughing a lot and everything. So, um, I'm so you know, I'm going to try to take some mess and hope I feel better within the next couple of days. Okay, everyone. This has been my Blu-ray and 4K UHD haul for February 15th. And you know the drill. Rate, comment, subscribe. And let me know what you thought of the video. And that will do it for today. Thank you for watching. Bye.